Very rarely do we touch on a situation right, right, literally right after a game. Like we like to like just take a breath, take a second before we come out with any any uh, either predictions, takes, whatever it is, because you got to take a second, especially as a Vikings fan. You just got to calm down, go back to you know drinking your hot chocolate, just stew about it for a day, let it build up and fester, and then take it out on everybody. No, I'm just kidding. I honestly. Because the reason we do that, we like to just get context. We watch the tape a couple of times. We just see, you know, whose fault it is so we can all blame them and get it over with. No, honestly, the reality of the situation is I wanted to wait to put this video out because I I feel like, you know, it's not fair to take one judgment, like one preemptive before we look at the facts judgment and say, okay, this person needs to go. We don't like to do that. Again, we like to take in, in facts and, and everything. But I think the time has come for Mike McCarthy to go. I think it is time that the Dallas Cowboys bring in a legitimate coach that knows offensive schemes or like a, or at least maybe promote Kellen Moore. I don't know. But Mike McCarthy, and we're not going to go through all the stats. We're not going to go through everything. We're just going to go through situations where we felt like, you know, there was the Dallas Cowboys that there was, yes, could both teams the, between the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys, could both teams have done something different? Yes, yes. But with the, this loss, um, I got to first start by saying, I know a lot of Cowboys fans are going to be really mad at the refs in that situation for moving the ball uh, away from that center from like right before, uh, you know, with one second left. I get it. I honestly get it. Like, Little fishy to me, kind of weird uh, how it all went out. But I mean, you know, I think Tony Romo said it best. When Dak Prescott got rolling, like when he ran and was 13 yards, I got got past that 13 yard mark. It really makes it tough on your on the rest of your offense, your old line to be able to um, to stop you at that point, like to be able to catch up. Excuse me, and you know, a little bit of blame goes to Dak in that in that scenario. But I put all the blame on Mike McCarthy, and this has not come easily. Mike McCarthy is a Super Bowl winning head coach. I think he deserves a shot uh, with another team. But I think when you have a team with this much talent, it's not even just the talent in the offense. We know Dak Prescott broke records. We know they got C.D. Lamb. They got Zeke Elliott, Tony Pollard, Dalton Schultz is special too. And uh, he doesn't get near the love he deserves. There's Amari Cooper. The list goes on. But defensively, to me, that's the story here. They've got players on the defensive level. Now, if it was just offense and the defense was allowing 30 points a game, okay, I would get it. But this team is too talented to let Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, don't get me wrong. I also have to say the 49ers are a legitimate playoff team. They can run the ball. They uh, Jimmy Garoppolo does just enough to be able to keep them contenders. Um, but if we're talking about talent, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is not on the same level as Dak. I think we can all agree on that. But... They let Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers, who can run the football and make timely plays, they do it extremely effectively. I said from the beginning, or I thought from the beginning, maybe I didn't come out and say it right away, that the, that the Cowboys need to put up points right away. I mean, they need to come out and, and put up 24 points at least before halftime. They didn't do that. At one point, they were down 23-7, to seven and they started storming back. You know, the, their defense made some plays, uh, you know, late in the game. Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, you know, threw that interception. And I'm thinking, okay. They could come back and win this, but no matter what happens, if they this is all on Mike McCarthy and, and really the offensive coaching staff. You have all those weapons. You have a defense that played very well in my mind. Like I don't really put a whole lot on the defense. Like it was it was, you know, there were some mistakes, but in the playoff games, yeah, you understand it. They couldn't stop the they had trouble stopping the run. It's the 49ers. They're gonna run the football. But you only put up seven points through most of the most of the game until what, the last eight minutes? And it's like Again, I realize that you don't put blame on one specific group. You don't put blame on one specific person. But at the end of the day, there needs to be someone that takes the fall. And I think it's Mike McCarthy because you have an offense that can put up and should put up 30 points a game and doesn't in, a, in, potentially, in the biggest game of the year and is forced to play catch up against a team that in my mind, frankly, is not as talented, but they are just as dangerous as the Cowboys. Like yeah, this was, I don't, I don't know that the Cowboys took the 49ers seriously. I don't because the 49ers, we have seen it. They have been one of those sneaky teams, one of those teams that not only can they run the football, but we said it earlier. Jimmy Garoppolo can make plays, get the ball to his play, playmakers, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, all those guys, Elijah Mitchell, all those boys that can run the football too. And it's also one of those situations where, okay. You need to put up points because if you don't, the 49ers will win. And they did. 
And again, I understand uh, at the end of the game there, you know, you got to not run too fast. No, 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 no. You wouldn't be in that situation if Mike McCarthy had this team ready to go making play calls that, you know, were a little risky that we're ready to go. They, they would not be making that that decision. Uh, they would not ha- be in that situation, rather, if Mike McCarthy was not ready to go and, and ready to coach this team to a Super Bowl. But, you know, I think I, I think that Mike McCarthy could be uh, out even at, despite making it to the playoffs this year. I just, I think it's time. Uh, I, I think that this this Cowboys team needs, uh, and needs a little bit of help. Maybe a little, couple more pieces defensively, and I think this team is just tough. This team is just so tough. Um, but uh, I, I think Mike McCarthy needs to go. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. Uh, we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome. And we love every single one of you. Check out our website at thesportsbreedpodcast.com. Also in the description down below, make sure you guys leave us a like and a comment. Uh, and again, it helps people find the show uh, and give us a like on all our social media platforms. Also in the description, you'll find our iTunes uh, link, which you can uh, click on, I guess, to uh, <laughs> to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. We'd greatly appreciate it. But finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Mike McCarthy needing to go.